the wealth of experience and wisdom amongst my fellow octogenarians. Being a very... Paul Flynn's passion and wit made him a memorable speaker. It's important that we have people in the house who can remember life before there was a health service. It was a life he remembered only too clearly, as he once told me. My father died when I was uh, five, and uh, my mother had virtually no income, and bringing up uh, a family of four, and it was, the, it was real poverty, it was dirt poverty. Which, uh, Although that upbringing gave him his Labour values, he challenged his party from early in his political career. Anti-Welshness is, is something that's, that's there anyway, all the time. It was the Welsh language that drew him into politics. Candy day. <laughs> Campaigning for Welsh in schools led Paul Flynn to become a Gwent councillor before he won Newport West in 1987. He soon made his mark at Westminster as part of a group of new MPs that included his close friend Paul Murphy. He was a great parliamentarian, he wrote about it very effectively and indeed lots of new MPs are given his book on, on Parliament uh, as a light-hearted but nevertheless seen as an important guide to do and what not to do uh, when you become a new MP. The new MP won early promotion as a shadow minister but soon left the front bench, preferring the freedom of the back benches where he spent most of his 32 years at Westminster. The government and opposition are rattled by the fact that three quarters of the population of the country believe, sadly, that our soldiers are dying in vain. Paul Flynn felt it was important to speak truth to power. That so many top politicians want this drip feed of adoration every day. You don't score goals from the subs bench. We need them all back. When he briefly joined the Shadow Cabinet in 2016, he told his party to put its splits behind it. Paul Flynn was the last in a long line of Welsh Labour MPs whose politics were driven by personal experience of poverty before the modern welfare state. We won't see his like again. He uh, served the people of Newport West for over three decades and became a, an institution in itself. But I think more than anything else, uh, the establishment of uh, a Welsh Assembly, a Welsh Parliament, of devolution, a lot of it, um, is due to the activities of Paul Flynn. Everyone agrees with every word I say uh, 20 years after I say it. <laughs>